subject is brownie cameras and how to use them. Well, you might ask yourself, what is a Kodak brownie camera? Well, a Kodak brownie camera was, u was invented in 1900 and it was made for all citizens to access low-cost photography. Now, let's get into how to use them. First, you're going to load your film. Tear open the film open and you will notice it's kind of like a small little roll of film. And tear this um, protective thing off. And open your camera. Just pop it open. Like that. You might wonder how the film is loaded. So, secret is you pull this thing all the way and then just take this out. So, easy and convenient. And if you have an old spool inside there, you should take it out. And then, Get one of the newer spools. Just pop it right in there. Now, turn it upside down. Move that protective little thingy. And insert. Then you're gonna pull this over here. And put it in here. Okay, once you got your film loaded, just slide it right on in here. Carefully. Make sure to pull that tab out all the way. Maybe wind a little bit to make sure it's working. And then close the camera. Okay, now wind the film until you see the number one appear. We'll see a couple arrows and stuff. Just keep winding. And there you go. Got the number two or one. Sometimes you get two, sometimes you get one. Now, we need to adjust the aperture. Take this tab on the side, and as you can see, with it all the way in, the aperture is a lot open. Use this for low light. Then, if you move it so you can just barely see this um, slot sticking out, you can have medium light. And then, with it all the way out, you have good things for highlight situations, such as a sunny day. Okay, now for the speed of the shutter. When, it, when it's like this, you'll notice that shutter closes quite fast. But, when you pull this small tab out, now it can, be, it can stay open and then close. This is for long exposures, such as in very low light or at night. Now look in the viewfinder to line up your shot. Now take the picture. Now go out and take some of your own pictures. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.